We'll now move on to the deductions that people can have. Already set up for us are things like advance repayments or if employees have purchases from the company or other one-time deductions or set up for union fees. If I want to create a new deduction, say the staff have decided that they want to put aside $5 a week ready for Christmas from July the 1st, okay, if I click new, it'll come up with the setup for a deduction. My new deduction, I'm going to call Christmas. My linked payable account, I don't like using the generic payroll accruals payable, so I'll look for a new account I can put it into. I don't have one set up, so I would need to add a new one at this stage. If I click new and if I look at the next number, 21450, I can now add it and I can now select it and anything I deduct will be recorded there into the Christmas fund. I said it's going to equal $5 per pay period but I don't want to collect it every week until I get to a maximum of $100. It'll take me 20 weeks to do that per pay period and it will now deduct $5 until I get to somewhere around the end of November and there'll be $100 in the Christmas Club fund for whatever reason. Click OK and I now have a Christmas deduction set up. We'll now move on to the expenses category. This is where I can set up my payroll to recoup the additional expenses of workers' compensation cover work cover as we've got here. I can also add new items to cover my payroll tax, which is a state-based tax. If I look at the, click on the white arrow, the work cover part, I have my linked expense account is already set up for workers' compensation, and I've linked the payable account to my workers' compensation liability. Yours, if it is Fresh out of the box from MYOB will probably say 21410, a default liability account. And the expense account may well be other payroll expenses. For your own peace of mind and your own comfort, I would suggest you allocate them correctly to the appropriate liability and expense account. I have no need to print the, these items on the payroll advice. There is not normally a limit for workers' work compensation cover per pay period or whatever. And all I need do now is to click OK. If I want to bring in a new expense, such as for payroll tax, I would need to work out roughly what I'm going to pay each year. And having guessed what I'm going to pay each year, divide it by my estimated wages and use that rate to recover it. Moving along from expenses, we then get to that universal subject, taxes. The only tax set up is PAYG withholding. And if I click on the little white arrow, it tells me that the linked payable account is payroll accruals payable. That's the generic default. I'm going to change that to my PAYG withholding payable and use that account. My tax table revision date, it tells me is the 1st of July 2012, which is the current one. And if I click over here on the left-hand side, I can work out, if I want to, exactly how the total amount of taxes is payable on a weekly basis for all these various um, things. If you're curious as what HELP stands for, it stands for Higher Education and Loans Payments, which need to be made back. FS is, I believe, the Family Supplement, and they're the two main ones.
You may occasionally come across somebody with a withholding variation. If you look at the withholding variation, it tells you there that if the wages are over, it's not to exceed, there are no figures put in. The reason for this is that some people have other sources of income and or losses and therefore have spoken to the tax office and have their wages and the tax deductions adjusted. If they do have this situation, they will bring a letter or have a letter which sets out what the variation rate is going to be. Maybe it's 20% on all their earnings. On the individual card, you would need to select withholding variation, put in the appropriate percentage, and their, ta their wages will be have tax deducted at that rate. If I click OK, it'll now go back to there. And we've now had a look at all the payroll categories. If I close that, we are now ready to set up our first people for processing a payroll.